I remember he brought us our goblin figurines. And we had a big group hug. Yeah. He borrowed the house keys so he can go out and get them. He was over at our house a lot. Fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was. But did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility, but I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me, too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later. Sam. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. So, um, I was over at the station and I was thinking about some things. Yeah? You've known us for a while. Your whole lives. You puked all over my slick denim button up. That's a nice memory. <sighs> I can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh, did you need something? I was hoping to. Uh, I actually wanted to check out your boat, is all. Uh, yeah. Well, all right. Uh, here she is. What are you doing? Ah, my cousin Billy bought an old motorboat, but that fool drowned the engine taking her out. Yeah, I told him I'd fix it. Are you gonna be long? I was hoping we could talk. I don't need my ears to fix an engine. What's up? I, uh... Never mind. Uh, where's your brother? Back at the house, I guess. <clears throat> So, uh, what's he getting up to today? Who knows? Huh. All right. How's the, uh, how's the house coming along? Honestly, physically painful. It'll be a miracle if I don't throw out my back. Let your brother do the heavy lifting. So he can throw his back out? <laughs> Not better. God, the 
This article about ocean acidification is really unnerving. What's that? Oh, um, there's an article in today's paper about how climate change is ruining the ocean. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> Fish have gotten puny. Spotting fewer and fewer whales. I don't know where we're headed, but you sure as hell are going. I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Uh, yeah, it was time for annual haul out. That seems like a long time for routine maintenance. Well, you know, I mean, it's, it's not like I can take her out anyway. They, uh, they want old Sam to, uh, right out of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that seems sensible. Encyclopedia of Astronomy. I have this one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Real detail. Impressive collection. If you want some, take them. I don't really navigate anymore. Uh, oh, uh, thanks. Oh, that's a really nice sextant. Well, it sure is. It's a present for my old crew for my 30th birthday. Isn't that a little... outdated? Oh, sure. Get all kind of fancy satellite systems these days, but sextants are still mandatory on commercial boats. Besides, I wouldn't put my faith in anything that can run out of battery. help? Oh, uh, thanks, princess, but that ain't it. It's, uh, it's in a red can. Not a princess. <laughs> ah! Oh, damn it! What happened? I busted my finger with that stupid wrench. Grab me a gauze. Should be in that cupboard over there. some gauze in a cupboard next to the sink. Sam, are you our father? <sighs> Figured you'd ask me that question someday. Well? I wish I was. What the hell kind of answer is that? I'm sorry, Ellie. But the man you're looking for... He ain't me. Oh, okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey, you got no right coming in here getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. You two are so close. I know you meant something to her. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? 
I may be a deadbeat, but I'm no coward. But you must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never... Look, we were just friends. I mean, take a look at old Sam. No woman like Marianne would ever think twice about a guy like me. I'm so sick of this. I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. I don't... I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. Come with me. I want to show you something. Come in. Come in. Oh. When was the last time you cracked a window? <laughs> Heat's on the fritz. Ugh. Come over here. Sit with me. What's all this? Here. I, uh, kept a few things. Can I? She looks... happy. Hmm. She was. When was this? Why are you wearing a square hat? Oh, yeah, that was when I finally got my captain's license. Mary Ann's the one who pushed me to get it. Made me wear that stupid hat when I went to take the oath. Huh. Yeah, Laura took this one. We'd been working on that barn for months. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Rain just kept on leaking into the loft. Wait, the barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. You didn't know? No, she didn't tell us. Is that a trap door? Yeah. Jimmy closed the whole thing up. Told her it was gonna be real hard to get any hay up there, but she said she didn't mind. Do you know what's up there? I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so I respected that. Well, we're gonna have to empty it out for the sale, so I guess we'll know soon enough. Ellie, you really gonna go through with this? It's like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mama. It's it's all that it's all we got left. <laughs> you can't just throw it away. I'm sorry. I know how hard this has been on you. But you need to move on. What's done is done. Maybe it would help to talk to someone about it? I ever tell you about the time I broke my leg? Shinbone snapped in three different places. Stuck in my ass for a month. No use to anybody. I was so down, I couldn't even bring myself to get out of bed. But your mama, well, she doesn't have none of that. She got me up one morning and drove me to a nice spot by the harbor. We watched the boats come in and out all morning. You can't let yourself be defined by the parts that are broken. That's what you told me. You gotta find a way to work with what you got. I think... I think about that... a lot. <laughs> gotta... remember.
Hey, Tyler, I've been looking all over the place for you. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Whoa, whoa. Hey, let's get you off your feet, okay? Come on. Listen, if you want to be alone, I'll go. But if there's anything you need to get off your chest, I won't snitch. You saw Allison? How is she? Yeah. I went back to check on her this morning. She was in a pretty bad way. Whatever went on between you two, it, it wrecked her. Look, I don't want to drag you into this. Well, I'm already in it, and you look like hell, so... Yeah, well, I got her to thank for that. You know what I think you need right now? A fishing pole. As a wise man once said, fishing is the cure to the wounds of the heart. Was that wise man you? Hey, like I said, I gotta write my own legacy. So, you in? I, I don't know. Come on, we're burning daylight. Let's go. Where are we gonna go? Why go anywhere when we have a perfectly frozen lake right here? Ice fishing in November? Yeah. It got cold way fast this year. Climate change. That shit's gonna kill us. But hey, fish first. You can walk behind me if you're afraid, though. You're actually serious. I am a very serious man, Tyler. Let's go. We still have to get everything out of the car. Stage is set. and show time. Whenever you're ready. You sure you don't want to go? Nah. Look, no way I'm going to rob you of your first catch in your own backyard. <laughs> All right. Got everything you need, by the way? Yeah, I'm good. Man, I'm so gonna miss this. Miss what? Just hanging out and fishing and... You know, I'm not gonna have a lot of time after you move to Juno with school and the JC and everything. Right, right. So did any of the people you came up with at Fireweed land in Juno? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Once they left, I never really kept in touch. Really? Some of them were straight up awesome, but we just weren't that close, you know? None of them really got, like, family? I mean, I guess I got pretty tight with my counselor, Aaron, but I already have a family. Well, there's a reason we think of families as trees. They keep on sprouting new branches and... Oh, uh, hey, I think I've got a bite. You got this. Reel him in. Come on, pull up on the rod. Now give it a nice pull. I got it. I got it. <sighs> Slippery little. <sighs> Got it. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> First of many. Pace yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> Thanks, Sensei. Oh, hey, did you want to make solid plans to hit the buzzard hole? The river might ice over soon, so we shouldn't wait too long. Yeah, sure. Sweet. I was planning to go Saturday. I'll pick you up on the way out. Cool. I'll set my alarm to 
ass crack of dawn. Hey, so the other day you were talking about your chosen family. How did you find them? Well, high school can be kind of rough when you gotta hide who you are every second of the day. I got to a pretty dark place. I can relate to that. One morning, my uncle woke me up and told me to get into his car. I figured we're going fishing or something, but then we ended up outside the Juno Coalition for Equality. Your uncle brought you to the JCE? Yep. Yeah. He didn't know how to help, so he found someone who did. That sounds amazing. You know, even if you don't move to Juno, my offer still stands. The JCE holds a monthly meeting. You meet a lot of good people there. I, I'm not sure where I'm going, but yeah, if I'm around for the next one, I'll give you a call. No pressure. Just letting you know the door is open. You got anything good in there? Maybe, but who says I'm willing to share? Okay, fine, be that way. All right, here we go. Careful. <laughs> that one's a goner. Oh, come on. These fish are really putting up a fight. Hey, now you know better than to underestimate them. Oh, I won't. So, about last night. I don't know what Allison said, but from my side, well, I thought we were on the same page. But it turns out we weren't. Hey. So don't tell her I told you, but last week your sister was almost unbearable. She was jumping up and down with excitement at you coming back. Really? <laughs> you better believe it. Look, the last time you saw each other, you were kids. Just because things have changed doesn't mean you can't work it out. <sighs> but what if we can't? If she doesn't understand why all this is important to me then maybe we're just too different. We were finally about to get some answers and she fucking ran off. Well, can you blame her? <sighs> Avoiding the problem doesn't make it go away. She's so fixated on selling the house. It's like she's trying to bury the past. All of it, even the good parts. Look, I'm not picking sides here, okay? But she's been murder house girl ever since it happened. Now she's got a chance to put it behind her. And start fresh. <laughs> Shit, I'd be pretty eager too. I guess I didn't really think about that. I've been so focused on my own shit. It's been hard, you know? Figuring out how to live out here. You mean outside of fireweed? Yeah. When I first got there, all I could think about was getting out. It felt like a cage. But after a while, it started to feel more like a shell. I figured out who I was in there. But now, I've got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Like, shit may look bleak now, but your sister's never going to give up on you. And you can lean on me too if you want. Just be careful, okay? Got a bad left shoulder. <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. You have this whole fancy bag just for ice fishing? You don't mix and match. Ever. Jeez, you don't mess around, do you? <laughs> Told you earlier. I'm a very serious man. Don't you say anything. I got this. Come here. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> How about them apples? Oh, <laughs> nice job. I got nothing. That was clean. Huh. I'm a little disappointed. Hey, can I... Can I ask you something that's pretty personal? Sure. Take off the gloves. You, uh... You've been with people, right? Uh, romantically? Uh, yeah. A few. Have you? Uh, no. Not really. That's kind of surprising. I never really thought about it. It just wasn't a priority, I guess. I get it. You've had a lot on your plate. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You want my take on it? Sure. Heartbreak sucks. Look, I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was dumped at a show once. But I put myself back out there just like everyone who's ever gotten their heart stomped on. Because when you meet someone who really sees you, you don't have to pretend anymore. And you're still interested in being that someone? Even after all the shit that's happened? Hey, I've got baggage too. I think it's worth a chance. Don't you? I think we're in total agreement here. Yeah? Yeah. I get this feeling like I could say or do anything with you, and it'd be cool. I feel safe. You are. Because your sister would kill me if I did you dirty. Uh, yeah, she would. So, doesn't look like you're catching anything with that. You want me to show you how it's done? Go for it. Hey, you're missing the show. now. You look like you might be enjoying yourself. <laughs> it's an act. But seriously, thanks, man. This is exactly what I needed. <sighs> Almost. It's just missing one tiny thing. Ben Chip, you read my mind. You know Allison refuses to eat anything cold in the winter? Her loss. From now on, you've got someone to call if you want to fish or slam a pint of Ben and Jerry's in the snow. Find. Uh, small fry. We should try to do this again while I'm still in town. For sure. You have my number now. Hey, Ali. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay. Sorry. Don't be. I'll see you two later. Sorry for interrupting. No, it's totally fine. We were done anyway. Catch anything? Mostly ice, but yeah. Tyler, I'm sorry for freaking out yesterday. All of this, it's just been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Come here. God, 
Why did I miss you so much? It's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. You dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I need to show you something. What? You're kind of weirding me out. Can we sit down for a sec? So, what is it? I was just at Sam's. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. And you took his word for it? He was crazy in love with Marianne. Whoever set that fire was doing damage control. And Sam's... nothing but damage. I guess he really doesn't have anything left to lose, does he? There's something else. Look at this. This was taken in 1992 when Marianne first moved to Delos Crossing. See that ladder? Sam told me the barn has a loft. He helped her build it. Apparently, she never told anyone about it. And it's still there? As far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? We've come this far. And a hidden loft? That's got secret shit written all over it. Let's go. Ugh, what a mess. That's not gonna help us get this house sold. Yeah, we got our deadbeat dad to thank for that. So, obviously the ladder's gone, but what about that handle? Is it still here somewhere? What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going to some real dark places. Don't worry. Whatever's up there, I'll protect you. We'll see how chivalrous you feel when you've got bats in that perfectly coiffed hair. The handle should be behind this. Ah, oh, there it is. It's opening up. The secret keeper always did store all the best secrets in the clouds. Yep. Come on, let's find a way. Well, that's way too high to jump. You want to give me a leg up? I'm so not touching your nasty shoes. We'll find a ladder. Can you see anything? Nope, nada. Here, found a switch. That shaved a few years off my life. left us something. It's 
got a combination lock with letters. Do you think she hid the code somewhere in all this? Knowing Mary Ann, probably. <laughs> well, you want to do this? Yeah, let's start here. Why are these pictures from the Book of Goblins here? I don't know. The moon hag's gotta be imprisoned in her lake. Crafty goblins go here. That's the pious pelican spot. Back in your pond, big frog. There you go, stalwart moose. The Ice King goes in the forest, obviously. Tyler, we're not done with this one. Hmm, it looks like that little piece should move, but it's stuck. Maybe these need to be done in order. The Mad Hunter seems to be first. <sighs> Nothing's happening. Hey. I want to take a crack at this one before we try to figure out any others. Recognize this? Yeah. It's from the story where the goblins tricked the Mad Hunter. It looks like it, but it's different, right? Can you check the book? Here it is. Why do you think she changed the picture? I don't know. Maybe it's a message. Like, the differences between the two mean something. Hmm. Something about Marianne, right? Since she's the princess? Yeah. Why don't we try to find them all and then see if it makes any sense? Okay. Spot the differences. It moves. Oh, some of these parts are buttons. Huh, a pink flower. Was that in the original picture? The Mad Hunter still has two hands here. So this was either before the Gold Lady cut off his other one, or after he earned it back? Which either makes it before most of the stories, or after. Why do you think she added that castle in the background? See the color of the flag? It could be her mother's castle. It looks like the princess is running away from it. So Marianne ran away from home, and she grew up kinda rich? Did she add that flower? Is that like an innocence lost kind of thing? Or not? Never mind. That's nothing. Does his smile look different to you? Hmm. Maybe that branch looks a little bit different? I don't know. Uh, it 
It's not the same title, so I guess that counts as a difference. Even if the branch is a little different, I don't really think that means anything. Ugh, I'm really grasping at straws here. Or not. Actually, I'm not sure. It's just a random star. No special meaning. Figured anything out yet? Uh, I'm totally stumped. Well, first off, the title's different, right? Huh. Maybe not, but the title is different. Huh. Is there an extra star here? Or am I just imagining that? It's just a random star. No special meaning. Ugh, I'm really grasping at straws here. Branch is a little different. I don't really. That's it. Whoa. What's in there? Uh, pictures, letters. Have you ever seen any of these? All the pictures of Marianne I've ever seen were the ones hanging on the walls. Oh, poor thing. Why would she keep an old drawing of a pet in here? The gold lady. That was definitely her mom. So, did Marianne grow up kinda rich? Maybe. Would have been nice to have some of that. I can't believe she was a ballet dancer. Marianne. And a good one, too. God, that's so not her. Did you know she studied engineering? No. But it looks like she changed her major to visual arts. I don't think she actually got it changed. The paper's not signed and it's all wrinkled. Like someone tried to throw it away. An artsy environmentalist. Yep, that sounds like Marianne's exact kind of catnip. this guy been any more cryptic? Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. There's the gold lady again. She's all over the board. There was a figure of her in that stash by the Mad Hunter painting, right? Oh, yeah. So... Maybe all of this is related to what we found in there. Hey, I can move the piece next to the gold lady. All these pictures. The princess dancing, playing violin, spinning wool. The wise princess looks like she's trying to run away. And she's being... Huh. What's the gold lady doing? Whispering something into someone's ear behind the princess's back? Hmm. 
Nope. Figured anything out yet? Nah, still thinking. The princess dancing, playing violin, spinning wool. I guess this is stuff she did for fun. Notice how unhappy she looks in all these pictures? I don't think she was having any fun. Nope. Is the gold lady setting the animals free? Judging from the broomstick, I'd say she's getting rid of them, not setting them free. It seems like the gold lady's kind of stabbing the princess in the back in all these, right? Figured anything out yet? I'm totally stumped. Nope. I guess that's not it. We should go take another look at Marianne's childhood photos. Nope. Figured anything out yet? Uh, I'm totally stumped. I guess that's not it. We should go take another look at Marianne's childhood photos.